Hi, I'm Al Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make karabij halab. Whenever I visit Jordan, I make a point of finding the carts that sell karabij halab dotted around the Balad or downtown. There's nothing like these warm fried strips of dough that are soaked in syrup. So super crispy on the outside and soft and syrupy on the inside. They are super nostalgic and the ultimate street food. In all these years, I've never thought to make these at home until my husband requested them one day, and I found the perfect recipe online. The word karabij comes from the word kirbaj, which means a whip, which describes the long shape of these. These should not be confused with the other karabij halab, which are nut-filled cookies made in Syria. Variations of this dessert is made across the Middle East, and they come in many shapes, sizes, and names. Some people may think these are like churros, but while they may look alike, they're completely different since churros are flour and egg based and karabij are semolina based. This dessert is really easy to make, but you want to make sure you have the correct semolina. You want to use the medium ground semolina, not the one that's super fine and looks like flour, nor the one that has big grains. Different brands call the grinds different things, and I found that the brand I use is labeled coarse semolina, although it is the medium grind one, so definitely look at the semolina grains themselves rather than the label. It's best to use a star tip to pipe these into the oil because I feel like the ridges add crispiness, but if you don't have one, you can just pipe them without a tip. Top these with ground pistachios for extra crunch and try not to eat the entire plate of these yourself. I definitely have to respay myself. <laughs> 